It's a beautiful day right here in the studio and the weather is cool. Ah, oh, yes. I'm excited to be with you on another amazing, exciting, educating episode of On The Stable. On The Stable is a show where we'll bring you issues confronting life and the world at large. And of course, bring possible solutions to these life issues. On this note, I welcome you officially to On The Stable. My name is Joy Dixon. We'll be right back. My name is Bukola. I'm a dedicated wife. I'm blessed with two beautiful children. I am the creator and the creative director of In Between I Stand. And the beautiful thing about the King's Prime TV is it's an app. I can decide to use it on my television. I can decide to use it on my phone. And of course I have an iPad. I can decide to use it on my iPad. There is no boring moment with the King's Prime TV, especially the way it gets me close to my culture day by day. I'm a busy mom and sometimes I just want to be on my bed alone with my laptop watching the King's Prime TV. It is the best thing ever. And I'm not connected to just one aspect of the King's Prime TV. I could decide to watch TV shows like The Big Nigerian Wedding or probably go for a series. Lots of beautiful things on the King's Prime TV. In Africa and beyond, more and more people are finding King's Prime TV, a rich hub for entertainment. With a monthly subscription fee as low as $7.99 US, you too can enjoy seamless, world-class HD entertainment that will inform, educate, entertain, and enthrall you. Join us today. Visit kingsprimetv.com to enter into a whole new dimension of entertainment. Kings Prime TV. Entertainment just the way you like it. Welcome back. Okay, so um, it's no news that there's um, a rise in the intake of drugs, especially amongst our youths. Um, we've had stories of addiction to drugs, drug abuse, our youth abusing drugs, and um, it's something to really, really worry about. So today I'll be talking with um, my friend. He's a friend. He's, he's a counselor. He's an amazing person. <laughs> I'm so, I'm, I, I don't know, but Talking to him is, 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 is one thing I always look forward to because I can never, ever talk to him and then not learn one or two from him. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our guest, Mr. Collins. Alizzi, welcome to the show. Yeah, I'm flattered. <laughs> <laughs> always. Yes, always. Always. of course, you should, you should. Mm -hmm. There's a saying that hoodie cap fits, let him wear it. So, this cap suits you. <laughs> Very well. So, sure, so we so have sure, we so have sure. to always give you the cap to wear. Yeah, so sure. You're welcome you to the show. You are making me feel like a guru now. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the show. Yeah. You look good. Uh, thank you. I, I I don't know whether whether you dress casually or uh, um um formally or anything. You just look good. Yeah, How do you combine your colors? I, I, are you are you are, are you color freak? No, I just pick my clothes. Mm. Just I don't even think of what to wear. Wow. So you means you really have a good sense of style. Probably. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to be talking about youth and drug abuse. Mm. I know that you know that we, we live in a society where this thing now is now is prevalent. It's is on the rise. Like every day you keep hearing stories and stories and stories. So let's start from, from the beginning beginning mm. now. Um for for people out there <clears throat> Who may not know, um, in your own terms, what do you think is drug abuse? Well, drug abuse is uh, an Ill illicit application of drug mm. or chemical substances in order to feel pleasure or uh, comfort. Okay, so um, let's break it down for a layman. You said illicit. Mm. Let's, let's break that word down. Okay. Uh, the word illicit is illegal. Mm. Illegal application of... Uh, drug or chemical substances. Okay. And when we say illegal, you know, what might be legal mm -hmm. to this fellow might be illegal to this other fellow. What do I mean? In the field of medicine, there could be uh, complicated situations where a medical practitioner or a medical expert could place a certain fellow on certain medications, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. maybe uh, heavy painkillers, 
in order to suppress uh, you know certain pains that are unbearable. Mm. But when some other fellow use that same drug without prescription, mm. it becomes illegal. Yeah. Okay. So, in uh, application of certain chemicals or uh, drugs, in order just to feel pleasure or a set of yeah. uh, comfort or mm -hmm. satisfaction. Mm -hmm. It's what we call uh, this uh, drug, drug abuse. Drug abuse. Okay. Now you agree with me that the way our youths now, the way they take drugs, it's it's so much. It's something to really, really um, worry about. So now, why is it that this is this is becoming something to worry about, especially amongst youths? Yes, these days it's on a rise mm. in the sense that. Mm. I will say partly the society per, uh, per se mm. had a, have a major role to play mm. in the sense that those youths that are into such will somehow you know hype them, make them feel like stars. Okay. And because you hype them and make them feel like stars, even in that state, you are somehow somehow normalizing what should be abnormal. Mm. So those that don't uh, uh, indulge feel they're not, you know, that they, they don't feel among. They don't feel among, yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So that's why a lot of youth, and you know, youth, uh, what makes them youth is that they are not matured enough, you know, to be able, if they are not properly trained, to know what is acceptable and what is good for them. Mm -hmm. They are still having this identity crisis, you know. So they tend to take after whatever they, uh, they see, so long as... Uh, the general uh, populace of the uh, population, you know, gives a tomb, uh, tomb up mm. to it. So they they want to tag along. Mm. They want to feel important mm. too. So those are the major. If you ask me, those are the cause of the spike in the use of it. Okay. So um, you you have said this the society, mm. meaning that this the society accepts it. Yeah, yeah. The society. It, it, though a lot of us could say no, it's unacceptable. But what shows you what society accepts is what the media portrays remember the government is supposed to be in charge of the media and the people yeah. but when the government allows the media to you know air whatever uh, without being censored that's to say the government is saying this is what we want indirectly and by so do if you say that is what you want that's what the general public will you know subconsciously begin to tilt towards and when they begin to tilt towards that that thing you are giving thumbs up to. Also be ready for the repercussion, the side effect of that thing you are giving thumbs up to. Okay, so now, when you say the media, let's, let's talk about the media now. Mm -hmm. Let's look at social media. Yeah. Now, you know that there's no um, regulation, mm -hmm. okay? You can post anything on social media, you can do anything on social media. So, now, does it mean that Social media is actually a great influence. Social media is a contributing factor, especially, especially among celebrities. Because if you watch most of our celebrities, they portray the use of drugs. And they say it as a normal thing. Mm -hmm. I've seen lots of musical videos mm -hmm. where we see the celebrities um, jump, jump into one, of, one, one or two of all these hard drugs. So now, uh, should the government really regulate um, social media okay having in mind that it is a contributing factor okay now first of all do you agree that the social media is a contributing factor yes it is a contributing factor but we shouldn't look we should look beyond the social media okay because for instance some movies and some musical uh, music videos are not just aired for the social media Social media pick a part of they, they pick from what is being uh, uh, given to the media, mm -hmm. and they, they you know they air it too. So the the, the where the challenge is, if you ask me where the challenge is from, the challenge is from the media, the censored media, the media that was supposed to be censored, but rather the censored body you don't just understand mm -hmm. whether if uh, the board doesn't exist anymore or they've lost their sense of you know the sense of purpose, you don't just understand. So. Like, for instance, most of the mu music videos you see on social media, they, they, they were aired, most of them are aired normally on mm, TV. On TV, on yeah. TV. Mm. Some of the movies are normally aired there. But when there's no restriction, what do you... If at first there, there are restrictions, it is what you... The byproduct you see on the social media. Mm. But the point is this. 
Everything goes down to the media, the, sen the one that was supposed to be censored by government, the one that is registered. Nothing is censored these days. Mm. At all. So, if the government comes in and then censors this and then tries to regulate this um, um, the, um, the media from portraying such things, how about you? Now, you sit at home, you record yourself doing drugs, and then you post it on your own social media page. So, how is that supposed to be regulated? Simple. You could be, you, you could be disciplined by the government. There are laws, you know, whereby such things could be, you know, for instance, marijuana. Okay. Marijuana is still an illicit drug in our country. Mm. So, whenever you, you take such and post it on social media, look, we know who you are. If you call yourself a music star, mm. just go there and arrest you with a, 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 a arrest warrant from the court. And have you dealt with according to the law? Mm. It's just simple. Okay. So, we... It's just easy to censor these things. They are not impossible. These days, even when you air something on social media, you could be traced. Mm. It's, uh, it, these things are not done by ghosts. They are done by human beings. So the government is not even doing enough? Not, not, uh, I, I, as long as I'm concerned, mm. we don't have a responsible government currently. Okay. So now, let's talk about the family. So the family is, is the smallest unit, mm. right, of the society. So now, do you think that um, 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 parents are doing enough to checkmate what their children do or what they take in? Yes. Uh, at first, every form, form or level of education of any kind starts mm. from our uh, home. home. Mm. You know, but we should also understand that some parents, they try and some don't at all. Mm. Because, for instance, as an adult, if your moral standards are very poor, it determines what you are going to give to your child. Mm. For, for, for instance, I, you know, a, a, a lawyer relative of mine said there was a, a situation that he handled in a situation whereby in school they found out that a certain boy always sit close to the girl, mm. a certain girl. But with time, they found out that in the course of you know, learning that this boy normally fingers a girl. Wow. In class. So the teacher got... To uh, got uh, try uh, was wanted to get the parents, you know, attention. Call mm. the parents, and when he told the uh, father of the child, "Look at what your son does," you know what this man said? He said, "That's my boy." Wow, you know, so that could tell you where the problem is. I don't understand. That's my boy. Like how you're proud of what he did. See, that's it. So this could tell you who the father is. Mm-hmm. This is, it is a, a typical example. This is a life, it's true life story. It wasn't stimulated. This is what happened. Life. I said, that's my boy. So, that could tell you that at home, such a family, their morals are decayed. Mm. So, when a man gives thumbs up to such, what do you expect? They could they probably watch uh, pornography yeah, yeah. pornograph in their parlor sure. comfortably with their children. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. So, the family... Have a, a lot to do. Yeah. They have a lot to do. Every 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 nice guy there, let me put it this way, came from a family. Mm. Every prostitute who came from a family. So it's just the family norm. That is the building block. So now we've, we've talked about the government, we've talked about family, mm. we've talked about social media, celebrities mm. and all that. So um, for you, who is responsible for this moral decadence? It's the uh, I, I I call it uh, the three the three stages uh, you know three entities are responsible. Mm. Number one, the parents. Number two, the media. Mm. And number three, the government. Let me expand mm. it. You know, education start from the home. Yeah. Morals start from, the, from home. the home. Wherever you f miss it at home, you miss it all. Mm. You miss it all. But you see, at the same time, no matter how our parents try their best. They cannot be hundred percent. They cannot censor what you see. If, if for instance, your 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 father or your parents decide, and uh, because of the the media these days are, are responsible, uh, irresponsible. I don't want a television set in my house. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, you still go. You, you have you have friends. You go to their houses. You could still watch uh, some stuff mm. in their TV. Mm -hmm. And outside these days, today for instance, I watch Kim Prime's uh, TV. Not in my television set. Mm. 
point my phone. Mm -hmm. So it's the, media, the same media. Mm. It's still the same media. And we know you cannot say it's uh, totally difficult to you know handle the media. After all, the government of Nigeria just uh, you know recently banned Twitter. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's where the media comes in. We must ensure our media are censored. Mm. We must not allow anything, anybody that feels whatsoever that he, feels, uh, he or she calls entertainment to air it on the media because whatever we air on our media, we, uh, these are the tools we use in building our society. Mm. So we mustn't accept them. Number three, the government. Government must become responsible. Yeah. Really, really responsible. It is, let me just say it. It's not all about the revenue you generate from the media or the entertainment industry. Mm. You should think about the effect of what they are portraying on the society. For instance, today, we know the challenges the country, Nigeria, for instance, face through uh, this insecurity. How much money could be enough to solve this problem? No, more, no, no amount of money is big enough to solve this problem. So why don't we just nip it on the board? Nip it from the origin. Stop it there. But, but when the government decides to be irresponsible, they are just about, it's all about the revenue. What they think they could gain. That's the problem. Like we, we just saw a recent show that just ended. You bring, about, uh, you bring adults together. You know, uh, for them to live as they want. Portray whatever life they want. Uh, they, uh, you know, we feel morally most of them are not good enough. Not good. Well, well, and at the end of the you day... Know, they, you know, let's... They, <laughs> no, uh, no, no, at the end of the day, the government <laughs> permits... Such a person that the, you know, in fact, the most irresponsible person should go home with sixty million. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you know, so you are just, you know, calm down, so calm down. I need to give you a glass of water. Let's go on this quick break. We'll be right back. King's Prime TV is a one-stop entertainment website for live sports, news, reality shows, and top-notch Nollywood movies. Log in to our website www.kingsprimetv.com. Or download our app on any of our iOS devices or your Android phones, any one of them. Just download and you get your movies and all entertainment stuff just the way you like it. Welcome again to King's Fight TV. Welcome back. So we have been talking about youth and drug abuse, and um, I still have my guest in the house. Um, who is who? Who is his ginger? Is, is increasing. <laughs> it is really increasing no, 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 right no, no, no. now. I, honestly, look at the society; it yeah. just makes you upset. Of course, of everything course. is just on the rampage. Mm, we are, are going wrong. We are very every close day. to a state of anarchy. So somebody has to take responsibility. Mm, yeah. We have to yeah. be responsible. Starting from the media, the government, the parents, mm. we have to be responsible. Okay. Now, let's talk about the individual, right? Mm. You know that it's possible that an, an individual can come from a good home with um, good moral upbringing. Mm. An individual can say, okay, I don't want to watch certain things on, on TV. Mm. I don't want to go to social media. I don't want to see certain things. Now, let's talk about the individual and peer pressure. Mm. Now... You agree with me that most people who come from a good background, let's just picture this scenario, they go into the university and then they change automatically. So in that case, how do you, how do you handle that situation when you know that this child is no longer with his or her parents? Mm. And then a child that, that, that doesn't smoke, that doesn't drink, all of a sudden just started doing it because that child is far away from home. So um, for situations like that, how do you handle such Though it could be complex, because at that state, that the, the, any anybody in the university is assumed to be an adult. Mm -hmm. You know, so how do you handle an adult mm -hmm. when they misbehave? It's beyond your, you know, it's beyond some, something you could just wish away. So you have to employ whatever means that is possible. Whatever means. You know, a, an adult can be disciplined. Mm. In the, the discipline could come in diverse ways. An adult equally 
can be penalized based on the law. That you are my child, and uh, I, I see that the way you are going is beyond what I could handle. I could, I could at that state, I could seek for help, mm. seek counseling, take such a, a child, you know, out for counseling. Let them meet counselor, or let the child meet a counselor. And when the child meets a counselor, but you mustn't negate the area of discipline. Mm -hmm. If you cannot discipline the child, uh, you know, personally, allow the law to do it. To do it. Yeah. But, but, but most times, we tend, we call it love and we shield them from being penalized, mm -hmm. even according to the, uh, by the law. At the end of the day, things go through totally haywire. Mm. And it seems as if it is a magic that just happened. No, you, you, you could dictate because no, nobody just woke up from the sleep and be, um, began to do drugs. It started at a time. Mm. So you, you as a parent, you should be sensitive to your child. You could tell when a child is, uh, is, is beginning to be introduced to substances like drug. One of them, you should be asking how. There are stages, there are some things you look out for okay. if you're a parent. Okay. Abnormal sleep, uh, sleep patterns. Hmm. How come uh, your child just all of a sudden becomes a heavy sleeper? You know, not just at night. Even every slight opportunity, he doses off. Hmm. He's sleeping. Hmm. Every slight opportunity, he's, he's off. He's sleeping. Secondly, check their behaviors. Most times, when children begin to indulge, you see them, first of all, in the indication is that they change their lines of friends. Those, you know, innocent child, uh, mm. child uh, f friends that they grew up with that are not indulging, they so uh, suddenly begin to withdraw from them, from them and change uh, friends' pattern. Mm. So, and if you are sensitive, there's nobody that is into heavy drugs that you look at their facial expression that you, 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 couldn't, you can't tell. Mm. So when your child just suddenly change fr uh, friends, and you, you now see the, the type of friends he or she is, go out, goes out with, look at them, you could tell. You could tell one of the things that when somebody is into drugs, most of them, majority of them, they look dirty. You could see it. Mm. And another one is that they withdraw. They withdraw from relationships. You could tell that with all these little, little signs here and there, that there's... Yeah, this child is into substance, mm -hmm. you could tell. Mm -hmm. Now, um, this one is for parents who are observant. You mm -hmm. agree with me that like 80% of parents are not even observant of these things. Mm -hmm. they, they don't even see these traces in their children. Now, let's bring religion into it. Mm -hmm. Let's bring um, whether um, Christianity, whether, uh, uh, whether you're a Christian, whether you're a Muslim. Now, as a body, mm -hmm. Do you think that they also have a role to play in dealing with this menace? Yeah, yeah, they, they have a major role to play. Why I didn't, you know, begin to talk about religion? I say uh, because you know I'm I'm careful about our audience, you know. Yeah. But they say religion is the opium of the society. Mm. Religion actually it tends to shape our character. So, but one thing you should be mindful of equal is that even within a religious society, you have the good eggs and the bad eggs at, at the same mm. time. So even when, for instance, you take your child to mosque or the church, be careful about those that he or she is associating with. Don't just go blind. Mm. Don't just be carried away by the religion. Be careful of the people. Mm. Because there in the, in the religious circuit, uh, circle, you deal with people. Be mindful of the people they deal with there. Not just everybody in the mosque is good. Mm -hmm. Not just everybody in the church is good, mm. has a good uh, moral character. Mm. So you be careful when you take your uh, children to such places. Mm. And when you take them there, try and relate with your children when you come back. Try and find out whether there's, an, a, there's a positive impact in their in in their norms yeah. by the uh, religion mm. don't just take them there it's not just something of a formality we must go to church every day mm. or we must go to mosque every mm. five friday no mm. find out whether there is impact mm. if a certain uh, religious circle is not making impact 
in your child. Then you could change. Because we should always think of posterity. It is not based on how you feel your relationship is with the imam or the reverend. No. Uh, maybe if I stop coming or I change my family from coming there, you know, I could offend the imam. Mm -hmm. I could uh, offend the, uh, the reverend. Yeah. No, 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 no. You are talking about your life, your posterity, your future. That's what is at, at stake here. Mm. So if we, if we are friends as an imam mm. and your message is not transforming the life of my family, mm. I think somebody else could do it. Mm. Better without sentiment, some somebody else could impact better. It's not a must that you, you, you can. Hmm. You understand what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, so the religious, uh, the religious uh, circuitous uh, uh, society plays a major role. A lot of people have been transformed within the religious society. Hmm. I must be honest with you, they, they've been tremendous. And I think what has held the society around the world from total collapse as it, it should have been, is a religious circle. Okay. Now, for, for parents who have observed that, they are, that their children are into drug abuse, how do they help these children come out of that, out of that uh, addiction? Do uh, substance abuse could be complex. Mm. You know, it's good you talked about the religious part, part in the sense that when somebody do a, 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 you know the the wrong line of life, most of the times it starts as a as a habit. Mm. From being a habit, it becomes a character. From being a character, once something is not a character, it's difficult to break to undo. And most especially, not just character, something that has that has an effect on your on your brain. The, the, your, your, it, it has find its way down to your brain. Mm. It's not that uh, easy. So first of all, you must talk to the person, allow the person to come to the real, uh, realization that the part the person is doing or is, is wrong. What if, I mean, there are lots of people who do not believe that what they are doing is wrong. Mm. When you have such a situation, mm. I have to go religion now. Mm. I have to go strictly go on spiritual. We did that with such a situation, squarely spiritual. Mm. And it is not just a day prayer pattern, mm. you know. It is, you have to be consistent until you break such a force. Mm. At that state, you could say that such a situation is not demonic. Mm. Because there's an influence over their mind, made them unable to see the truth of the damage or the impact of what they are, uh, uh, the, uh, the damage or the impact of their activity on themselves and on the society. Mm. So what do you do? Such, such forces that have beclouded their mind, you deal with such forces. Mm. Remember there's a, a part of the scripture that says we, we, we are not dealing, we are not wrestling with uh, fresh uh, and blood. blood. And the weapon of our warfare not is not equally carnal. Mm. So he says it's a mighty word through God. So you deal with such forces consistently in the place of prayer. Mm. When you are able to break that force, you find out that the person cannot listen to you when you talk. Mm. Once you get to that state that he can listen to you, allow the person to own up, to uh, get to the point that he sees that, look, I'm wrong. Once the person uh, get to that state that says I'm wrong, you cannot seek external help. Okay, so um, some, of, some, some of these things are spiritual. Yeah, very, very spiritual. Mm. How, how, can you, how can you tell me that somebody is gradually poisoning himself mm. and doesn't own up to, to that fact, right? mm -hmm. and you are seeing yourself that gradually you are being stigmatized by the society because look once you are into substance once somebody that is sensitive looks at you and intelligent mm -hmm. we see it will be for you and nobody wants to do anything re uh, reasonable with you because with uh, by your mere appearance you look irresponsible mm -hmm. before them yeah, yeah. nobody wants to do anything serious with you so and somebody is in this state and the person is okay no it's not possible mm -hmm. That person is under certain influences yeah. that are bigger than him or he, he uh, or herself. Okay, all right. So um, let's start with because the, uh, for for every problem there's mm. a solution. Yeah. So now let's now talk to the parents. What is your advice to to families, to fathers, to mothers, to um, 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 people, to fathers, to mothers, to, to to the family generally? My advice to parents is this: think of posterity. 
because most times what makes a, a, a parents unable to dictate early stage of these issues is because they, most of the times they are, they are too occupied. Carelessness. Care, they, they are too careless and they are too occupied with their work. Some, are, some people are just careless. Mm. But let me just talk about, uh, talk to the working class. Mm -hmm. Let me add, uh, talk to the working class. First, the essence of your work is for the, is for the children yeah. to build a better tomorrow for them. Mm. Don't get carried away by that work while the future is being destroyed before mm. you. Because I've seen people, you know, I've dealt, uh, you know, been with parents that if we, when you talk about the money, they are well to do. But man, the state of their children, the money has nothing to do. The money is almost powerless. So what do you do? There's nothing wrong if the man is able to do for the woman to sit back and watch over the children. Mm. Both of you shouldn't be carried away by your, number one, your career or what you think you want to make financially because those finances might not be enough to protect you or to even preserve your tomorrow. Mm. Because these children will just end all they have worked for for years within the twinkle of an eye. So why don't you just pay attention to these children? Mm. Because they are your tomorrow. Think of all that you've been working for. Think of all you've acquired. Have you ever thought what will happen to these things mm. when you are weak? Have you ever thought what will happen to all this when you are no more there? This could, these things could be blown away by a stupid decision by these children. Mm. So why don't you pay attention and build them very well? So that wherever you are able to build, they will continue from where you stop and build, build higher mm. and make it better. Mm. And even when you are weak and old, you can look at them and you say, this is my child. Thank God for what... This, uh, what I've been able to achieve in this child. I built the uh, right morals, the right belief system, and now today it's paying off. You could sit and you enjoy your age with pride, mm -hmm. not with pains. So this is my advice to them. Okay. Now, um, we're still talking about family. I understand that there are some parents that shy away from talking to their children about certain things. For instance, about um, drugs, about sex. Mm. They feel that that there's no need to all. They feel that ah, these kids are too young. So now, they say catch them young. Mm. So do you think that there should be a particular age a, um, a parent should sit his or her child down to talk about these things? If you ask me, mm. At what stage do a child start reasoning? At what stage? You could be looking at eight, but I say no. They start from one. Hmm. They begin to reason. They begin to ask questions. Hmm. That stage, you ask a lot of questions. Those are the stages you start. Hmm. As early as that, start then begin to educate them what should be and what, what is right and what is wrong. Hmm. If you fail, miss it then, you could have missed it. Hmm. Under your nose, hmm. you miss it there. So start at that stage. And one of the things that could make a parent unable to, you know, be strong, getting down on the morals, is when you yourself, you're not morally just, there's no moral justification why you should, you should be. For instance, why would you uh, tell your son or your daughter that drugs abuse is wrong? When you even, you, you smoke cigarettes before mm. them. They watch you smoke with cigarettes. Mm -hmm. And children, they actually, they actually imitate whatever they see. So they, they, they don't do what you tell them, they do what you do. Yeah. But the, the difference is that they amplify that thing you are doing. <laughs> that's true. They amplify it, that's just the truth. Mm. So you, you lost it. Secondly, you're, you know, the, these kids are very smart. Of course. So how do you, how, how can you tell your child about, you know, morals, sexual uh, purity? When you, you, you yourself, you are not there at all. Mm. You think they don't look at you, they don't see your, uh, your charts mm -hmm. on your phone. Mm -hmm. They do. They do, yeah, they do. So no matter how smart you think you are, mm. they see. Mm. So most times, it is at this stage that you don't know what to say. Because you know you've blown it mm. before them. And you, you've lost it all. Mm. Okay. So for the government, what role do they have to play? I see. We all have a part to play. Because the rogue in the government today will not remain there forever. Yes, that's true. So he or she will be replaced by somebody from among our midst. Mm. So that's why I, I wouldn't look at them. I would say, let us take responsibility. Mm. Know what is right. 
and be bold about what is right. Not just knowing what is right for yourself. When you have an opportunity to say, this thing is wrong, this thing is wrong. Yeah. So if you can build such an attitude within yourself, when you get to the government, I know by the help of God, you'll be able to stand for what is right. Okay. You could look at the uh, 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 media and say, look, if you are not going to censor, uh, censor your programs and give the society what is right, mm. I wouldn't mind shutting you down. Mm, okay. Without sentiment, I'll shut you down. Shut, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, um, our time our time is, <laughs> is is up already. We have I have lots of questions to mm. ask you, but just like they say, the time is never enough mm. <laughs> to talk about this. I hope to call you back so that we're go we're actually supposed to have um, a part two, a part three mm. of this. Mm. We haven't exhausted the <laughs> the the solutions to this problem. So thank you so much for coming. Right. I hope I hope to see you again. I hope to learn more. I'll say that I've really learned a lot from mm. this. Okay, so you've heard our guests. Everybody has a part to play. It, 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 it shouldn't um, be um, about the government, about the media, about the parents. You as an individual, you have a part to play. Drug abuse is not something to be proud of. Drug abuse is not something um, that should continuously be on the rise. So as a youth, um, an adult, a teenager, even children too. Yeah. Yes. So please, um, as parents, you should know what you have to do the government you should know what you have to do and then as celebrities too because people have these celebrities they have huge followers yeah. and sometimes it is even what they see the celebrities post that they do themselves yeah. so please as celebrities you should know that uh, um, people are also looking up to you so this is where we draw the curtains of this episode of on the stable on this episode is a show um is a show exclusively brought to you by king's prime tv do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel at king's prime tv follow us on all our social media um on all our social media platforms and please please go go to your um apple store or google store and download the king's prime tv app and then you have access to lots and lots of amazing entertaining uh, um, and educating shows just like this movies for your kids, cartoons, sports, and every other thing. So, from me to you, bye.